Hey, it's Mahair from Sherwood Park Hyundai, and we're back on the lot taking a look at another quality pre-owned vehicle from our used car inventory. As you can see, we got a parts van driving in the background. Say hi. And now that you're out of my shot, let's go back to this video. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a 2012 Jeep Compass in a beautiful blue color, which I don't really see a lot. It is quite windy out here, so we're gonna quickly take a look at the outside, starting from the top. You've got your roof rails. You can see the sunroof there, which you'll get a better look at on the inside. Coming down along the sides, on the front you've got your headlights, high intensity fog lights at the very bottom down there. Got beautiful chrome accents all around, which are mirrored on the tires. Take a look at those. We've got 17 inch fire stones. There you go. Plenty of tread left. And like I said, shiny, shiny wheels. I'm going to give you a good view from side to side just before I take a look under the hood and hop in out of the wind. Under the hood you have a 2.4 liter 4 cylinder engine delivering just under 175 horsepower. So now right before I hop in we do have a keyless entry system in here. You can lock and unlock. So I'm going to hop on in. Now you can get a good look at the door here now that we're outside of the wind. Chrome trim as well, as you can see on the handles. You've got power window controls, power mirrors, and power locks. Your driver's side window is in a one-touch auto down feature. So here we are inside now. Before we go into the details about the features, take a look at the odometer. We have 45,000 kilometers on the... Now just behind the steering wheel, we have controls on the left-hand side for your lights. And then on the right-hand side, you have controls for your wipers. While you control the lights, it also controls the interior brightness for this display. We'll play around with the display later, but that's how you control it with this simple switch. On the left-hand side, you have mounted controls for volume up, volume down, and then a media selection button. And then on the right-hand side, cruise controls. Good old SRS airbag and a horner in the steering wheel. Right in the middle there, you have a large multimedia display. We have, of course, a hard drive which stores music and plays right off the car. If you do not want to do that, you have a USB input, 3.5 millimeter, AM, FM, and satellite radio. Underneath all that, climate control system, including air conditioning for the hot summer days. Underneath that, you do have heated seats with two different levels of heat for driver and passenger. Stability control, of course. 12 volt cigarette lighter style charger. Let's kind of back the camera up. Oh, you can see a camera on the floor. That is certainly not included with the purchase. That is definitely mine. Take a look, you have four wheel drive lock. You got a console in here. Plenty of storage room. And of course, storage room in there for your user manuals, or if you actually want to put gloves in that glove compartment, you can do that. I'm gonna hop out of the car, give you a look at the sunroof, and then take a look at the back. All right, so it's gonna be kind of a wonky camera shot, but as I crouch down, that's the only real way to get a good view of it. You do have a large sunroof up there. Lots of natural lighting as you're driving around. Take a look at the back now. So in the back, you have, of course, chrome trim continues. Controls for power windows are there. And try to get a good view of that, try to adjust the light. You have seating capacity for three back here. Comfortable plush seating. And then in the center console there, a couple cup holders. We're gonna open up the rear hatch, give you a look at the cargo storage. So getting into the rear hatch, relatively easy, underneath that Jeep logo. Pop that button, and then back up, give you a good view. You have quite a lot of cargo space, including a cargo screen. You can pull this tab, keeps your belongings out of sight and out of mind when you close up that rear hatch. Keeps everything securely stored there. I'm gonna tuck this away. You have a Boston Premium audio system to keep the tunes going. Underneath here, spare tire, including a jack. You have anchor points for cargo hooks and nets. Of course, top tether for car seats if you needed those. And a couple more anchor points just around. Now I'm gonna close up that rear hatch. Thanks a lot for watching this walk around on a 2014 Jeep Compass. If you have any questions, please call, click, or visit us today. We'll take you on a test drive and answer anything more you have to ask. Thanks for watching.